All right, circling back to our top story, former Malaysian Prime Minister Muhyiddin Yassin has been charged with abuse of power and money laundering. Now, let's speak to Dr. Wong Chin Huat, who joins us live from Kuala Lumpur, and he's a political scientist at Sunway University. Dr. Wong, thanks for speaking to us this afternoon. You know, first up, what are the implications of these charges for Mr. Muhyiddin's political career? Are we expecting to see more members being charged now? Uh, he is probably the biggest catch from the party. They would likely go after other figures as well. And this would cast some shadows on political viability of Wahidin Yassin. But his case will drag on for years. And what about... And to the upcoming midterm state elections, uh, this would have mixed impact. Some would see his party was thought to as equally corrupt as Amno and therefore move away. But also many would see this as a political witch hunt and therefore give him the sympathy vote. Right, but what about his political career? You know, how will that be affected by these charges? He would still remain as an MP and remain as a coalition leader. There's no reason that uh, why uh, his coalition wants to drop him because he is still the best person to hold the two parties together. Dr. Wong, take us through the further action that could possibly be taken and maybe the impact that these charges will have on Mr. Muyedin's party, Basatu. Is he expected to give up his party position at this point? Uh, so far, there's no law or even a political culture for political leaders to give up their party position uh, for being charged. In the past, Amno President Zahid uh, did take a garden leave, but this is not a, a political norm yet. So he can actually stay on as long as his coalition will support him. Uh, what we know is that his party and his coalition will be hard pressed now uh, in terms of fund for the upcoming state elections because anyone who wants to give money to the party would be fearful of any repercussions. Right. Speaking of that, six crucial state elections. We know that they're coming up. Mr. Muyidin's own alliance is posed as a strong contender against um, Anwar's multi-ethnic coalition. How will this latest development, you know, the charges against him, affect voter sentiment here? I think the ground is quite divided. Those who support PN would just insist that this is a political wish hunt. And while uh, some of, only some of the media ground voters may swing away, uh, but that also depends on a few factors. First of all, how much convincing evidence may be presented in the court uh, quickly to dismiss the allegation that this is uh, political prosecution. Second, whether there would be uh, instances, immediate and new instances of double standard for the government party politicians in similar situations. And thirdly, whether the government would take this further trying to uh, suppress the opposition. Because if this is seen as just uh, vengeance against the opposition, it would backfire on the government. The Malay media ground voters would more likely to give him sympathy votes. Right, so that's the and vote. And that would help. Uh, you, you, yes. you were saying that would help? Uh, that would help uh, PN in the three states currently held by uh, Anwar's coalition, that is Lango, Penang, and the Greece Milan. The outcome in the three states currently held by PAS, uh, Mr. Muhyiddin's ally, uh, is a foregone conclusion that PN is expected to do well anyway. All right, Dr. Wong, I want to pick up on the uh, political uh, vendetta persecution here because uh, Mr. Muhyiddin, he has described these accusations as such that they, it is a political vendetta, a persecution. You know, let's look at it this way, because after all, Anwar himself has partnered graft-tainted AMNO, and he even made Zahid Hamidi deputy premier, despite AMNO's president, Mr. Zahid himself, facing dozens of graft charges here. 
Well, the case here is that Malaysia's Attorney General Chambers has not had a very good record of being impartial. Therefore, it raised the questions whether this is a political witch hunt. However, if you look at the case, if uh, there are sufficient evidence to support the charges, then there's no reason why Mr. Mukhidin or his party colleagues should be spared uh, the, the, the charges. And the question here is whether what would happen next on other cases like the warship scandal that involved UMNO leaders, would there be the same uh, seriousness of uh, prosecutions on, on those involved? Exactly. So let's look at this now. It has been 100 days since Mr. Anwar took a premiership. How would you describe Malaysia's political landscape at this current point? The government has had a clearer vision than what we have had since uh, four years ago. Uh, it is not moving very fast, understandably, because it has to avoid any backlash from uh, the society and also within the government, as this is a coalition consisting of five different blocks. But so far, Anwar has managed to give the country a direction. And I think the middle ground is still willing to give him uh, the, the benefit of doubt, giving him more time to show his performance. But of course, the opposition would try their best to cast him as being controlled by the Chinese, as uh, not protecting the Malay Muslim interest and Islam sufficiently, uh, so that he would lose legitimacy by being propped up as uh, propped up by the minorities. Uh, if he managed to overcome this, I believe that he can actually lead Malaysia to a new stage of stability, but that requires also his government to take a more um, open and fair attitude towards the opposition, for example, to give them, to give them equal constituency allocation. So, such that his government cannot be accused of oppressing the opposition when actions are being taken on uh, Mr. Muhyiddin and his colleagues. All right, thank you so much for your analysis there. I've been speaking with um, Dr. Wan Ching Hua there from Kuala Lumpur.